How's it going guys, Grimmer Century here and today we're back with another video. We're going to be looking at FIFA 17 today. There's been a few photos leaked around Twitter and I've been told they are official. So we're going to go through them today. I'm not sure if this is allowed on YouTube, I'm not sure how long it will stay up. So if you are interested, by all means download the video as an MP4, do whatever you want to do with it so you can see the full print screens that I have nabbed from Twitter. How do I know these are official? I uh, looked at the main YouTubers like Castro and Kazoo, you know the ones who are affiliated with EA Sports. Kazooie said in the background you can see the official FIFA 17 um, arena. As you can see in the background there's a FIFA 17 stadium. There's no such thing as this in real life. Uh, they've made it just for the FIFA 17 game for the arena I think. That's what I've been told anyway. So this I think is legit. I don't think anyone will put that much time and effort to get the correct arena in the background just with some fake uh, leaked images. So we're going to go through the four images that I've found today on Twitter. First we have the starting menu for career mode. As it says, take the reins of your favourite club and control, the managerial and tactical aspects of your squad. You will be responsible for helping this club achieve strategic and business objectives across a variety of categories. Now, that's very different from what we'd heard like throughout the other FIFAs. Usually it would just be like, take your team to the top, that kind of stuff, and take them to glory. The player career on the right hand side is the same, but that looks a little, sounds a little bit different to me. I'm looking forward to see what EA are going to do with this FIFA. And as you can see from a few of the print screens, we're going to have a lot of good stuff. Alright, now we're going to go into the next one. It's Real Madrid is what we've been given. As you see on the left hand side, we have the new sponsorship, uh, La Liga Santander. And uh, the, the, the menus are looking quite funky. I'm liking the yellow and black design. I think it's going to be the same though as it was in FIFA 17 by scrolling on teams uh, with the na nation at the top, the team in the middle and the uh, leagues at the bottom. I think it's going to be like that. But now we have a lot to look at. So I'm going to go quite in depth on this. First we'll start with these board expectations. We have domestic success, continental success, brand exposure, financial and youth development. To be honest, I've just seen these photos. I have a little clue as much as you do guys, as my viewers do. But I'm going to go through them and try and guess what they are. By all means, when the new FIFA comes around, I'll find out how wrong I am. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into this. So, domestic success. I'm guessing that's winning trophies. That is um, that is winning the league. Domestic does mean home. Uh, so, that I think that's kind of like, if you're a prick of Premier League side, that's how much they want you to have succeed in your own country. So obviously Real Madrid are a big team in Spain, their domestic success should be very high. They're looking to win the title, so that's why as you can see it's number one as critical as set up. I can see teams like Man United, Barcelona, Juventus, PSG, these kind of teams having this critical success. I'm not sure how it's going to go, as you can see there's low and high. Critical I guess is the, high, the highest one. Uh, high is second, low is fourth, so I guess it's kind of standard maybe is the third one, we can't see that out on this one at the moment, anyway but yeah that's what domestic success is, that's kind of your expectations from the board that they want you to finish top, so it's nice to see that before we start the career mode we can see the board expectations rather than when we start it we get an email from the board, we actually seen it before we start the career mode, so if you're thinking hmm, I'm not sure if I want to, if I'm that good of a career mode guy to maybe win the league with Real Madrid, that's not really something I can go for as uh, winning the league. So I might have to look at a different team. So at least you have a look before you go into the career mode. Next we have Continental Success. So we're talking Europa League and Champions League. Obviously they don't have the licensing in the game for that unfortunately. So we're looking at the Champions Cup and the Euro Cup or whatever they call it. But they're, they're, they're still the same competition. You still get the kind of same prize money. And they're still the, all, all the same teams in it guys. Again... We know Real Madrid are probably, I think they've won it the, the Champions League the most out of any team ever. So of course they're going to have a critical success for that as well. Now the one I'm really looking at here is brand exposure. I don't have a clue what this means. Is this opening up maybe a few more things uh, to to buying uh, like high level players? Obviously Real Madrid do like to sign their poster boys, Ronaldo, Bale, James Rodriguez, those kind of players. Brand exposure maybe is buying those high level players to show off to the to the world. Obviously Ibra's gone to uh, 
to Man United and Pogba's gone to Man United. So that's kind of good brand exposure, getting people to buy the shirts and stuff like that. Maybe it could be like that. Or maybe we could be looking at a kit design or something like that. I'm hoping it. Obviously, there's so much things we can we can think about with all these uh, expectations we be given. Honestly, I'm just throwing stuff out of there. If you guys have got a clue what we could be looking at with brand exposure, by all means, drop it in the comment section below. Now, financial at Real Madrid here is low. I'm guessing this is financial problems because Real Madrid definitely do not have low financial budget. As you can see on the right-hand side, there is their budget of 99 million dollars and an estimated club worth of three billion. We haven't ever been given an estimated club worth before, however, so maybe that could be uh, you might be uh, accessing the funds more of the whole club maybe like a football manager more kind of sign because before we literally just get the transfer budget and the wage budget that would be it but now we're being told the brand exposure being being told the club worth all of the financial here maybe we're looking at a bit a little bit more in depth in fifa 17 that's kind of what we want for our career mode anyway um i'm not sure why it's financial low for for real madrid but maybe that yeah maybe that is is debt and finally youth development is high i'm um, guessing one again is critical um, I guess uh, last year we had the youth scout. It's not, it wasn't really very well developed, was it? We just sent him out somewhere, and every month he'd come back to us. I'm guessing they're not going to put a lot of effort into that. And career mode to be honest, guys, they're putting a lot of effort into these menus. I'm guessing youth development is probably going to be one of those things that left out. They have got training as well, so I'm not expecting them to put a lot of effort in. All right, let's go check the next. Um next thing to look at and we have confirmed that the Japanese league will be in FIFA 17 because we have a photo here I'm definitely not going to try and pronounce that team name they have six million uh, dollars transfer budget and they're worth 17 uh, 17 million uh, dollars so they're a good team but not worth too much so we're looking at kind of maybe a league one championship standard team the domestic success is high so maybe you're looking at a top four finish this kind of team Continental success, yeah, it is a median option for number three. So maybe we're looking at a uh, group stage for that there. Brand exposure again, we're not sure about that. Financial again is low and youth development is low. So I did go in quite a lot of depth on the Real Madrid one, so we're not going to go in a lot of depth on this. But this has opened up so many options for us. This, we can talk about career mode so much more now. Very, very hyped for, for the beta to see if there is any more images thrown around for FIFA 17. I don't have the beta myself, I don't want to get my channel banned either, so I probably won't be posting uh, images as much as, I, uh, as much as I want to. I'll try and maybe get a few things out there, if I've seen stuff I'll commentate over it rather than getting the images out, because I do want to keep my channel up on YouTube without getting banned by EA. Again, I'm not even sure if this is allowed on YouTube, so if it is, uh, by all means download the MP4. And finally, we have the last print screen, and this is the one I'm most excited about. Select your avatar. Obviously, we were told that managers were in FIFA 17. We've got Mourinho, Klopp, all those kind of guys. But now, this is more more like FIFA. This is more like the career mode we've been asking for. We're going to be seeing our manager on the touchline. Before, we literally just type in his name. We give him a few options. Slim, fat, whatever we wanted him. His colour, uh, his suit, uh, suit colour as well. And that would be it. That's all we'd have for customization for our manager. But now we get to select an avatar. I guess we can we can uh, change his face as well. I'm hoping that as well. We can name him. I guess we're gonna have more interaction. If we have a manager, I'm praying we get cutscenes as well. There's just so many options for this guys. And um, this these prints have just made me so excited for for FIFA 17 now. Absolutely buzzing for it. Beta is out next week. We're talking about a month away from the game. If you are very excited for FIFA 17 career mode, make sure to smash that like button. And if this kind of um, this kind of video you, you do enjoy, make sure you do hit that like button because I try and get them out as quick as possible. This kind of came out about two hours ago, so I've literally got the print screens, commentated over them. I'm going to get it, the video straight up for you guys. So please, please do show your support. Subscribe if you're new. For FIFA 17 content, as I said, I will go over stuff as it happens, and I will just give you my honest opinion on it. And if you do have any your opinion on uh, any, on any of these print screens, do you think they're real or not? Because they're not 100% confirmed. But people like Kazooie from who always go to EA events has told us that this is the FIFA 17 arena background. And I don't think anyone uh, skilled, even if skilled designers, wouldn't even know this is a thing. I didn't, I didn't even know it was a thing until Kazooie mentioned it. 
So these these uh, print screens obviously you may have been taken from a capture event or something that shouldn't have been taken. Uh, but like I said, I don't know if this is allowed on YouTube. But by all means, subscribe for more FIFA 17 content. I'll get it out as and when it happens. And again, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.